here that usually again peaks there in the middle to part of August. Right now, though, kind of mostly clear, looking pretty good. Live look here in Walker County from our Summerton camera, looking pretty nice off to the east there. Highway 78 looking pretty good too there, and temperature 75 degrees. Some of those clouds are starting to roll in, pretty muggy as well. Here you can see the cloud cover from our BJCC camera over downtown. Temperatures coming in 75 here too, with those southerly winds in place and around the area. 75 also in Talladega, back to Tuscaloosa, Moundville, Fayette there, as well as Jasper and Col. So many of us deal with those mid 70 degree temperatures, and we'll see those temperatures warming to 85 at 11 a.m., getting to the lower 90s this afternoon. About a 40 percent chance of those scattered thunderstorms today. Getting to 91 here, back to Alabaster, Clanton, over to, over to the Alex City area, back to Asheville, Gadsden, Anniston. You're at 92. Same for Jasper to Fayette today. Tuscaloosa about 93 degrees, so pretty close to what we're supposed to be. Heat index it's going to be above 100, but not significantly high like it was just last week. Anywhere from about 98 Talladega to 101 Birmingham. To 102 for you over into Jasper and Hamilton. If you're looking for something to do this afternoon and evening, check out Birmingham Restaurant Week. Catch the wonderful restaurants we have here in town. Check out their deals on their websites, of course. But 91 at 4 o'clock, maybe for an early dinner by 7 o'clock, 84 degrees. Small chance for rain, about 30% for the day today. Right now, we do have those clouds kind of coming in, some high cloudiness as well, too. That'll be the trend, at least through the morning, very similar to what we saw yesterday before we start seeing those storms popping up. Trough low pressure here kind of stretching its way from DC. Through Charlotte back to southern part of Alabama now, but a front here to the north not moving much. This is causing significant flash flooding across Missouri, Illinois, into Indiana today. That front is going to eventually drift a little bit farther to the south and be close enough to us the end of the week to have an impact on our weather. But before that happens, high pressure west of us blocking it from moving. So the rain is just training over the same area there over Missouri. It's significant. Flash flooding. Flash flood emergencies in St. Louis this morning. They've so bad the flooding, they've gotten seven inches of rain just since midnight, and the Interstate 70 corridor is now full of water in a river. So you can't even drive through the St. Louis area this morning. Now, we're not going to see that, which is good news. We're just going to do some pop up storms today. 30 to 40 percent chance out there for the day today. Little to no rain as we head into Wednesday into Thursday, but that front kind of stalls over Tennessee, bringing them the threat for some flooding. We'll be close enough to get a 70 to 60 percent chance for rain Friday and into Saturday. So today is Rain. Again, your typical summertime variety pop up storms beginning around lunchtime, continuing through the afternoon hours. Hit or miss variety, so not all of you get the rain, but those that do, the rain still could get heavy. It's very humid out there. By dinner time, most of that rain is gone. Overnight into tomorrow morning, we are talking about just a couple of clouds again as we start off our Wednesday. But by the afternoon hours here on Wednesday, you can see not much in the way of rain, a small chance for some showers and storms popping back up. But things do change though as that front comes closer to us on Friday. We start the morning dry, most of the afternoon. Starts dry, but then by the evening, here comes some of that heavy rain as the front sits just to our north. We'll see some of that rain continuing into Saturday as well. So, because of this, we have looked at some drier weather Wednesday, Thursday, 94, but then here comes that rain Friday and Saturday. So, we've issued that weather aware for those days. So, just be aware that we could see some heavy rain potential, maybe some flooding issues out there. We'll keep an eye on that. Temperatures are down to around 89 on Saturday, back to around 90 on Sunday and Monday, with just some scattering of storms not near as widespread. All right, thank you, Dave. This week, the CDC 